it's Kendra. Today I have a fashion haul for you. I like to do one of these about, I feel like I do one every season. So with summer coming up, I wanted to do one with some like bathing suits, beach cover up, some not spring things, some summer things that I've recently picked up. So I have things from Adore Me, Target, and Soul Society. So I have clothes, shoes, and a bag. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get started. Okay, so the first things I got were from Adore Me. So I have a lot of their pajamas and they're super soft and comfortable. So I figured I would try out some of their bathing suits because they have bathing suits now. So I'll show you the ones I got. Um, and then I got two cover-ups as well, which I love. They're so cute. So I'll show you the cover-ups first. This one is my favorite. It's this white one. And this I got in a size small, if you guys are wondering, just for like reference. Um, and I'm 5'6", so I don't know what I'm trying to show you. Um, here is what this one looks like. I like this because it kind of has like that crochet top to it. So whatever bathing suit you are wearing underneath, it'll show through, which I think is really, really cute. It's a sheer material. It kind of feels like a linen, and I like how the fit is. It kind of flares out, so it just is very, very flattering. And let me show you the bottom. Um, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's not super short, but it's not long. It's just like a nice kind of mini cover-up, so I really like that one. And then the other one I got is black, and this is in a small as well. And it's kind of similar, but it's a different cut, and it's a different little pattern up top. And the material in this one is more of a kind of crinkle, crinkle fabric, and again, they're just very soft, very comfortable, and flowy, just perfect to just throw on anything. You could just also just wear this with a bra, you don't have to put it over a bathing suit, but I honestly don't really have any cover up, so I wanted to just get some cute ones that I could wear all summer long. And then I got two different bathing suits, so I bought the black one mainly for the top because I think the top is so cute and I've been wanting a bathing suit like this. I've been searching for one with this kind of, I don't know, it's just like the style of it. So it's a high neck, um, it's hard to tell just showing you guys, but you can tighten the neck so it goes up, you know, goes up a little higher. Fits me super well. So their bathing suits, I think most of them are. The one, the two I got are padded. So they just fit really nicely and they don't look like you're wearing a bra. I have a hair right here. Some bathing suits can look like you're wearing a bra, but these just fit nicely. They, they, they're just seamless so they don't look like it's a ton of padding in your bathing suit. But I love the fit of this one. It ties in the back like this. So it's a little bit of a thicker strap, but I just, for some reason, I'm so into this like a high neck bathing suit right now. I think it's very cute. So who knows what kind of tan lines I'll get with that, but that's okay. And then the bottoms on these are a little bit more full coverage than I usually get. So if you like a bathing suit that covers you up, then you will like this one. The next one I have, I like that cut a little bit more. This one, the thing I do like is it has the cinching up right in the front and also the cinching on the back. So these are just basic black bottoms um, and I like getting a black because I can just mix and match with different different colors and styles and then the next one I got is in this really pretty purple color and so this it kind of is like a scoop neckline and then it has these little I don't know what you call them they're not really tassels but they have this little gold detail thing on them I thought that was just different and interesting it kind of looked like a resort style bathing suit to me and then it just ties in the back like that and then I love the bottom. So here are these. Did I get, yeah, they're both in a small. These ones are just a little bit more, they're not as full coverage as the black ones. I love these little tassel things. And then here's the back. So you can see it, it cuts in a little bit in the back, which I really like the fit of those. So definitely recommend these. I haven't worn them yet, obviously, but I have tried them on and they fit really nicely. And then the cool thing is Adore Me has a VIP membership. So every month you can get a matching set for $39.95. You get $10 off every style. You get free shipping exchanges, but they offered to give you guys your first set for just $24.95. So I will have the link down below for you if you want to check it out. Definitely recommend it. I think it's such a great deal and all the pieces are just super cute. Moving on to some things I got from Target. I was there the other day and I just, I wanted some more basics and things that I could just throw on. And they ended up having a lot of cute things. Um, I got a lot of stripes. I didn't realize how much I like stripes until I was checking out. So this is a kind of like a, a tank top dress. 
super soft, feels like, oh, it's just like the best material. And it's kind of thicker too, so it's not sheer at all. The bottom also, it's almost like a thicker bottom, which to me, it feels like it has a little bit more weight. And that's really nice when you're wearing a dress because it doesn't feel like it's just going to fly up. So I don't know what it is about that, but I really, I really like that. So it has a razor back and just a basic crew neck kind of style. I got this in a small, so I'm Mossimo. And I love the color of this. I love the olive green. I don't ever get anything olive green. I don't know why. I think it's just so cute and it's extremely comfortable. Andrew and I are going to New York and Boston this Saturday. So I wanted to get a couple of just like comfy things that I could wear on the plane or something. The other dress I got is this one. And this is all the way to the ground. It's this, I don't even, I thought it was like a tie-dye print at first, but I don't even know what, this almost looks like a, like a skin I don't know but it's so cute on so it has a crew neck and the back has a little bit of a crisscross and it's it works with a bra like a normal black bra a lot of the times when I'm looking for dresses they just like the fit makes it really hard like the cut of the neckline makes it really hard to wear a bra and I, I don't know that just like is a deal breaker for me for dresses so I really like how this one fits and you can wear like a cute um like bralette with this too so it's goes to the ground but it has this little kind of high low can we see that um cut on the bottom you know it goes like this on the bottom so it's longer on the sides at your ankles and then it goes up a little in the front and back but it's super comfy and I thought this would be cute for anything just you could throw this on a, over a bathing suit you could wear it like kind of take it to day and night. You could wear it during the day and then you could dress it up at night with some wedges or just wear it with flip flops and it's totally fine. Um, this is the exhilaration brand. Oh, it says tie dye, black tie dye. So, and I got this in a small. Next I got a tank top. This is a just basic black and white stripe. For some reason though, the fit of this is so good. And I always, I feel like whenever I'm dressing, I always want like just more casual t-shirts to throw on. A lot of my just basics are from college, like a very long time ago. So I wanted to just get a couple new things. Um, again, the fit, like the, how this is made, it feels really nice. Even though it's just from Target, it feels like super, super well made. Raise your back and it kind of goes in a little bit, like kind of cuts in a little bit there. And it has a little bit of like a loose flouncy bottom so this is the Massimo brand and that's in a small only $14 for that I got this tank top which I don't know why what drew me to it. it's just like a basic kind of creamy tee but it fits so well I, I took so many things to the dressing room like whenever I go to tour I try on so many things I feel really bad for the people who work there because I'm like these are my ones that I don't want but I felt like this time, I, there was a lot of things that I really like, and that's rare. I feel like it's either hit and miss when you go there. So, the back of this, it's a little bit lower, and then it has this little, like, that little detail right there. So, I thought this would be cute with just some jean shorts, throw on some gold jewelry, you could wear a hat, you could wear sandals, so, um, and that I got in a small, and again, cheap, $12.99. And then the last t-shirt I got is this one from Massimo. I got this in an extra small because it was a little bit baggy, but... Again, it's a stripe and it's a basic t-shirt, but it feels so soft. It's a little bit of a high-low cut, so if you guys are looking for some good basics right now, check out Target because they had so many good pieces. And then I got a pair of shoes at Target too. These are by Morona, and I've been looking for some sandals that are like this with kind of like the woven sole, and these ones were absolutely perfect because I wanted a new pair of of black sandals and these ones are super comfortable a lot of their sandals were very very thin so I felt they would be super uncomfortable when I wore them so these ones have a little bit more height to them I mean it's not like a ton of height but I just think these will be a little bit more supportive I got these in a nine I'm typically an eight and a half but I got um, a half a size larger and I just think this, these will be so cute with so many things with the, that dress or anything so they had so many cute shoes. And then I got a pair of shoes and a bag from Soul Society. So here are the shoes I got. They are just a nude pair of like chunky heels. They're super comfortable. I think these are, yeah, they're an eight and a half, so they fit true to size. And they're, these types of shoes I just wear all the time. I have a pair that's very similar to this, 
from Steve Madden and it's a nude it's like almost identical but it's a booty kind of but it's open toe so I thought this one would be better for summer because it's a little bit more casual and I it's a zipper in the back which is nice I like shoes that are comfortable and also fashionable so I think I will bring these with me to Boston um, my brother is graduating from college there so I thought these would be cute for that and then the bag that I got I love so much so it kind of resembles like a Celine bag and kind of like the Givenchy bag, I feel like, because it's just a really structured purse. The one I had before, I love. It's a little bit more um, kind of slouchy. It's from Windsor, and I had been using that for probably two or three years. So I thought it was time for a new black bag, and this one just is absolutely perfect. It fits everything that I need. I, it has a strap that you can put on that is, you know, makes it a crossbody, and I might use that sometimes, but for me, I just really like to just put it, like, wear it like this, or you can put it on your shoulder, which is totally fine, but let me show you the inside. The inside is, has this cool pattern in it, and I find that it fits everything so nicely and allows you to see everything. Sometimes my purse is everything gets lost and you can't see anything, so this just has one one section and everything fits nicely. I think it's because since it's kind of like a square, everything just sits there perfectly. It's not like everything doesn't get lost. And then there's also these two zippers on the top that you can put whatever down there. I don't have anything in there right now, but um, the other thing that I really like is that it all zips up, which is very, very nice. So if you guys are looking for a new bag that is kind of structured, but it's still really functional. I feel like this is just a perfect everyday bag, but it's great to dress up too. It just kind of makes any outfit look a little bit more pulled together. Highly recommend this. I will have this link down below along with everything else that I mentioned. So that's everything that I picked up. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. It wasn't a ton of stuff, but I mean, it was, it was a decent amount of things. So I have been watching some people's um, videos on organizing and spring cleaning and that sort of thing. And I noticed a lot of people do the one in one out rule, which is if you buy something, you have to get rid of something else in like that same category. So if, say you buy a purse, you have to get rid of an old purse that you don't use. And so that helps people not buy as many things that are kind of, you know, they don't need them as much. And I thought that was just such a good idea and it made me really think about things that I need. And it just made me kind of like look at all of my stuff in my wardrobe and realize, I don't really need that or I'd rather get something different and get rid of that because I don't really find joy in it anymore. If you guys have read the Marie, I think it's Marie Kondo, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It's just really, it's honestly life changing and it's just really neat to look at your stuff in a different way and if it doesn't bring you joy, if you don't, when you touch it and you don't really care about it, it's kind of like why keep it in your life. Her whole thing is surround yourself with things that you really, really enjoy. So for me, that's, I, I feel like I was really into it right when I read the book and then I forgot about it and then I got the sequel to the book or it's like the, the book that goes along with it. So I started doing it again and really taking note of everything that I have and I'm trying to go through it again. I was decluttering all my makeup and I did a decent amount of videos, but I never finished. So if you guys want me to finish, I could do that. I should do that actually. The other thing I wanted to mention is I'm doing live streaming for this month, which I'm doing right now. I have my phone over there and basically what it is, so the app is live.me. So once you sign up, you can see when I have my live feed on and I do, I've been doing workouts on it, um, cooking things and also when I do my makeup in the morning, I'll just turn it on in the morning and you can see what I'm using for my makeup because a lot of you want to see just everyday makeup tutorials, but I feel like my makeup's pretty similar most days. It's just different. It's very raw and unedited, obviously. And YouTube, I feel like, can get very edited. So this is just a way for you can you can see everything. It's very raw. So if you're interested, I'll put all the information down below. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for spending the time with me today. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for all of my new videos. And that's it. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.